Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Absolutely beautiful day. Glad to have the sunglasses back on. Not a real big fan of having them on on camera, but I've gotta be able to see. Uh, behind me, my personal 2016 Corvette Z51 car, manual transmission, yes, three pedals, uh, which goes into what we're gonna talk about today, the three trim levels of the Corvette. I bought this car back in 2015, brand new, special order. Matter of fact, this is the very first Long Beach red Corvette that came off the assembly line uh, for a consumer. And I did that because I wanted to invest back into the brand that I absolutely love selling, that I absolutely love representing, and also to take me to the next level. Because uh, where anybody can sell Corvettes out there, when you become an owner, you go to the next level. You learn more about this car. You learn about some of the things that you can't learn from this car as just driving a car off the lot or simply selling a lot of cars. Now I'm a top 30 Corvette dealer and one of the top Corvette salesmen in the country and I love selling this car. Coming into April where we're coming into, there's gonna be a lot more people looking to buy cars and the number one question I get is what's the differences between the three trim levels What's the difference between a Corvette, a Corvette Z51, or going to a Grand Sport, or going to a Z06? Now to briefly tell you about my car and the reason I built the car the way I did was because I wanted a little bling. Not a too much bling, nothing to stick out, but that's why I went with Long Beach Red Metallic because I'm the type of person that doesn't like to have the same thing everybody else does. I did chrome rims on this car because I didn't like how the black blended in, which is why I did black emblems on it because it blended in with the fish which i just need to really take those off and then most importantly the front we don't have those chrome braces on the car as so many of them do so i did black emblems which you can see that one kind of blends in there as well and then also at the back and one thing i did on this car uh because again i kind of the way i kind of think and the way i like i put those clear z06 tail lights on here this car was off the truck for two or three minutes uh got all the white stuff off and i was ripping all this off right here to put in the clear tail lights that's how uh uh passionate i was about not having the two reds on the car on the inside of the car i did a 2lt interior i did carbon fiber dash manual transmission navigation performance data recorder all right so behind me i have four vehicles even though we're talking about three trim levels you're gonna see why i have that uh, over here i have a 1lt i have a 2lt and i have a 3lt and then i have a z06 that happens to be a 1lz and this is the question i get all the time is what's the difference between that 1lt and that 2LT. So 2019 Corvettes have been out since January of 2018. So we're well over a year out for 2018. So I do believe, if I remember right, that in 2019 they made the 19 inch front, 20 inch rear standard on all of these vehicles. Now, one thing I'm going to talk about is when you're looking on Chevy.com, there are only four trim levels a Stingray, a Grand Sport, a Z06 and a ZR1. Well, I think that there should be five listings of these Corvettes, which would be Stingray, Z51 car, Grand Sport, Z06, and ZR1. We're only gonna focus on four of them. I'm not gonna focus on the ZR1 because it's almost impossible to buy, but I do have two of them coming available that are not sold. So if you're looking for a ZR1 and Shadow Gray, look me up. But looking at this car, there's no way to tell if this is a Z51 from the outside with the exception of going to the rotors. If you look at those rotors, they're a smooth rotor. Um, and when you go to a Z51 car, those rotors become slotted just like what's on the Grand Sport. Also, another way to look at a Z51 car is inside the passenger air vent to see if that is actually a pass-through or a solid. So I'm not sure if you can see in there, there is a solid plate underneath the air vent. This is not functional. The Z51 car, it is functional. Now in 2014, the only way that this was functional was going Z51 
manual transmission. So this 1LT car only has two options and that's the black badging and the black wheels. Outside that, this is exactly how a 1LT Corvette and a 1LT Z51 is going to come and look. There are only a few options available on the Z51 and the 1LT car and that's where I think the best bang for your buck is the 2LT, which we're gonna move over to the 2LT Grand Sport, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you get on the Grand Sport. Also, when you go Z51, regardless if it's one, two, or three, you get the dual mode performance exhaust. This is the quiet exhaust system, the standard exhaust system, so I think that's one reason to go to the Z51, because this system is $1,300. Regardless if we're looking at Stingray, Z51, or a Grand Sport, when you move up to the 2LT, in a nutshell, it's everything on the inside of the cab, with the exception of these cameras right here. Now these cameras up here, I've got videos on those. I'll link them in the description below and also up top. Those are the curb view cameras. Those come standard on the 2LT and above, and they are awesome. And one of the reasons why I went 2LT because we do not want to rip off those front splitters or damage the nose cone of our Corvette. If you have an interior color other than black, where your elbows touch, it will be also color keyed. So if you have red, if you have gray interior, the seats are gonna be gray, and then where your elbows touch, armrest right here, armrest right there, and the armrest on the passenger side is gonna be that same color as well. Where the mirror on the one and two LTs look very similar, this is a one LT and it has that for the dimming part. On the 2LT, there is no switch, therefore this is an auto dimming mirror when you go to 2LT. On the 2LT, you have your trunk button, and then you also have this button right here. I have see questions all the time on forums, what's this little Wi-Fi off button, what it looks like to be Wi-Fi. This is actually the advanced theft system. So you, when you go to 2LT, you have advanced theft system and you can turn this on and turn this off in the event that someone tries to tow the car away, jacks up the vehicle to steal the wheels, and then also breaks in and gets on the inside of the vehicle, it sets the alarm off. Now, I see people asking all the time that I came back to my car and the, car reads that theft attempted. If you have a garage door opener or sunglasses or something else that happened to fall, radar detector, it happened to fall while the car is locked, that will set the alarm off and you'll get that theft attempted message on the driver information center and you can just disregard if you've looked over your car and there's no damage to it. Up on the sun visor, you get the universal home remote with three buttons that you can program, garage doors, security gates, other stuff that works with this system. So you get that when you go to 2LT as well. The next piece of equipment that you get in the 2LT trim package is the 10 speaker premium Bose center point surround sound system. I think also this is a huge upgrade from the base stereo and I've done a video on that, but it got uh, demonetized and taken down because I used copyrighted information in the video. But there is a huge difference between one and two slash three LT radio systems. Also with the upgraded radio system, you also get uh, XM radio for 12 full months. Uh, on the other car, the one LT, it only comes for three months. Also coming to the two LT, you get the heads up display. So you can see that that kind of, you can move it up and down. You can change the way it looks and then you can also make it lighter or brighter with the third button. So this is the first area that you get with the heads up display is coming to the 2LT. Now the caveat to that last comment on the heads up display, you have to go to the 2LT, that is not accurate when you go to a Z06. Z06, it is standard in all trim levels, one, two, and three. To kind of show you, and really the only reason I have this Z06 out here, is you can see we got the heads up display prominently right there. If we come over here, you can see that this is a Z06 and we only have the 1LZ trim package. So all of your Z06s do have heads up display. One of the reasons I went to a 2LT car was for this feature right here, heated seats and air conditioned seats. It's good for the passenger and the driver. On the passenger side, it's right there in front of them, shows the temperature display. They can control it over there and they can turn on their heated seats and air conditioned seats. It's redundant right here for the driver to hit that because even me being 6'3", 
I can reach over there, but it's, it's a good stretch. We don't want to be doing that while we're driving. But I will tell you this, and this is where it comes into a big play of being an owner and not just a salesperson. I'm not a big fan of the ventilated seats. They suck. They're plain and simple. It's what it is on a nice hot day, 85, 80, 75 degrees you do not feel that these are on. So uh, a little disappointed when I got this car and these didn't work because I'm thinking that I'm always going to have my target top off and that was a way that I could like keep my body cool and that was a big disappointment when I got that car and started driving it and seeing that. Again, that's not something that a salesperson that just drives them off a lot or whatnot would know. That's an owner thing and that's again a good, good reason why to do business with an actual Corvette owner because they can keep you uh, out of trouble. So if you wanted to spend the $5,000 or so to go to a 2LT and you wanted to do what I did and have air conditioned seats, you can ask that question and I can tell you confidently on other items of the car as well. Down to the last four items when you go to a 2LT, you get the memory settings. Uh, the memory settings are super nice because my wife is 5'3", I'm 6'3", so we have our own settings. She's driver one somehow, don't know how that happened. But uh, you have the easy exit seat, the driver one, driver two, that controls the seats, it controls the mirrors, and it controls the steering wheel position as well. Don't think this is a real big deal, but when you go to 2LT, you also get the little Corvette logo on the seats. Then you get these two things. This is your cargo net, very simple. Everybody knows what that does and then you get security shade as well i'll show you how that works so it's tough to see since everything is black up there but you can see i got the one cargo shade there the other one installs down here when we shut this you can see it's tough to see again because of the glass but uh you can see you cannot see in there you can't see any of the plastic stuff that i had on the ground or anything like that so when we pop this open there you go and the really cool thing about this is your target top can fit under all of that and be secure in there as well with those in place so you don't have to take those off if you want to put your target top in there moving over to the 3lt grand sport again these are going to be the same available equipment in the 3lt as you get in the stingray the z51 and the grand sport there are five options in the 3lt equipment group the first thing you'll see difference on a 3lt is when you look up to the target top. You'll see that you have a weave on there and also that is wrapped in microfiber suede interior. The sun visors are suede, the A pillars are suede, the cross member is suede, and back there at the B pillar and behind the windows is suede as well. You also get upgraded leather in the 3LT. This is a Napa leather, and I'm gonna show you the dash. I think that's the easiest way, but this is all different leather. This is all different leather. This is all different. And then coming into the dash, the dash is all different as well. This is all leather. And if you look at it, there's not much grain in here. So it'll be tough to see on the camera, but I'm gonna show you, there isn't hardly any grain in there at all. Now let's move over to the 2LT and I'll show you the difference. This is the 2LT and right off the bat, the way I have this camera set up, you can definitely see the grain in the dash. So I had a lot of people back in 2013 and 2014 when we were doing massive amounts of special orders on these cars asking me what the difference between the leather of the 2 and 3LT was. Now I did a lot of research and asked quite a few people and I came up with this answer to be the best answer so the leather on the 2lt and the 1lt car basically is remanufactured leather it's real leather but it is uh not one piece of hide it's melted down remanufactured back into leather and stamped to cut for the particular options in it now the napa leather that's in the 3lt this is out of one piece of hide so it's straight from however they do leather i have no idea how they do leather but uh, it's basically one piece of hide compared to melted down and cut to where they want it also with the 3lt if you have a different color interior red gray whatever the case may be you also get that color in a little bit more areas you still get the where your elbows touch but you also get up here coming straight down coming over all of this right here is that color and then the whole armrest as well and then you also have it all the way over here on that door panel also so that's only going to be effective when you have red gray something other than black 
The last two items that we have on the 3LT are gonna be on the radio. We have factory navigation here. Also, you have the performance data recorder. If you don't know what the performance data recorder is, there is a camera mounted right up here in this big plastic area and it records the track that's what it's meant for is to be for track use it records out the front so that way when you're tracking the car now i have it on my car as well and the reason i have it because i use it as a dash cam so every time i get in i hit the home button i hit home pdr and i hit start recording and it allows me to start recording and we'll come over to this 1lz z06 and when you start looking at it you can see that's a 1lz because we don't have memory seats we don't have the upgraded security system there it's just that one big button for that we don't have heated seats or air conditioned seats here. We don't have the Corvette logo up here. So really, it's all the same, regardless if you get one LT, one LZ, and then if you go to a two LT, two LZ, three LT, three LZ, it's all gonna be the same with the exception of that heads up display in the Z06. It's in all of the options packages, like I said earlier. So there you go. There are all of the trim features of the cars. I hope that was something that helped you. I uh, hope it's something that can help you purchase your dream car. And if you'd like to purchase a car from me, feel free to reach out to me at chevydude.com. And I always price my cars 10% off MSRP. If there's any rebates applicable, uh, we'll do that. ZR1 is at MSRP, by the way, not 10% off. And then uh, shipping, we can handle shipping if you want to fly into Louisville. Uh, shipping out of the Midwest is much cheaper than going to the Northeast if you're out to the West or into Florida. Much, much cheaper from me. And then also, as a Corvette owner, I've got your best interest in mind. So thanks again for watching. I hope it's informative. Share the video, post it on some of the forums, Facebook groups, whatnot. Anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.